What's good? What's up, everyone? It's boy Fesh O here, and today we're back again with Fan of a Die trying. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I just left it off at like the greatest spot because, but I just load the game up, bro. And like, this intense off music is playing right now in my ears. But if you don't know what happened last episode, yeah, just check that out, bro. If you haven't, bro, check it out. But right now, where we need to choose between who we're gonna hang out with today, whether Ali, Violet, or Yui. And me personally, I think I'm just go down the list like how it is. So I'm gonna go with Ali first. All right, we'll make it happen. Huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah, then I need to obviously freaking learn how to read again. Oh, that's a new spot. How I let Ali talk me into this, I'll never know. You sure this is a good idea? There's only, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Ali grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the oh my day slope by the off the hill. I, don't, I need to say slope. <laughs> Relax, Resho. What's the worst that can happen? Well, I could die. Would it be too much to ask to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? Don't worry, I've got you. Oh shit! I slipped on the rollerblades, pulling me down in the hill. Uh, pulling me down the hill with her. I tried to step back on reflex, but it was all I could do to stand up with the rollerblades. Oh fuck! We started rolling down the hill faster and faster and faster. Ali was rolling down the hill backwards at full speed. I could see the panic in her eyes. I couldn't figure out how to stop. We were going faster and faster. I screamed. Ali laughed and pointed at me. Gosh, your face is priceless. I love it. Me personally, you, you're never catching me in rollerblades, bro. Like I'm just saying this right now, cause dog, anything that that has small wheels and requires me to like have balance. Nah, bro. I'm 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 a passer now, homie. Ali turned around effortlessly and somehow glad. Like, oh yeah, glided next to me without ever having let it go of my hand. I think I've did I read that read that right, I don't know. Our breakneck pace became slower and slower as she stared us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the road smoothly. The wind felt so nice. That's yeah, that's, that's cold, cold. Now you got that now you got the hang of it. You feel You've got a funny way of teaching. The best way to teach a bird to fly is throwing it off a cliff, no? You're definitely, uh... That's definitely a way of looking at it. I fucked that up. Don't worry about it. You aren't even a d in, ever in danger. Have you been rollerblading for a long time? Nope. I actually just learned how to today. What? Uh, what was that about never being in danger? You're quite a daredevil, aren't you? What what gave that away? She laughed as she slapped me on the back. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. You picked up um rollerblading almost as fast as I did. Well, I've got a pretty great teacher. It's a lot of fun hanging out with you, Ellie. Shucks, I feel the same way, Fresh O. Oh shit. It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. The world's gone crazy, we're all gonna die. You might as well be around people that make that make life worth living. I couldn't say it better myself and that's facts. You know, I bet you can't skate backwards. Ali reversed and started skating backwards as if to taunt me. Oh, why is that? I think it's a bit too scary for a person who screams when they start going down a little bump. I'm fresh oh and I can't handle a little bump. Ah, help me! Me! I know I said me twice. Come on, it was a hill. Yeah, yeah. I feel a fire light inside me. Bring it on, Ali. Oh, are you sure? Did I stutter? There, there comes a the time and everyone. Well, my. See, this is what happens when you don't play a game for a while. You're reading and all types of shit is just shit. So there comes a time in every person's life where we know where 
taking a stupid bet, but do it anyway. With the power of misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air and did a backflip. Can I even do that? Wait, am I doing a flip or is that the worst flipping? I'm not sure. And then it dawned on me. Oh, fuck. Stuff I knew that was gonna freaking happen. What the fuck? No, I won't let I won't let you kill fish. Oh, what? You're going to wish we had. What just? What the hell? You're yeah, up. You're okay, fish. Oh, try not to move. You're a little banged up right now. But you, you'll be just fine in no time. Can I treated your injuries pretty well, if I do say so myself? What, what happened? You are uh, well skated backwards. We're definitely skating quite liberally, huh? How did I get here? I carried you here. Oh man, my head. Take it easy. It's only been a few hours since you KO'd yourself. Um, well, it's sort of my fault, but I made you some food. It should help you get your strength back up quick. Thanks, Ellie. That's really nice of you. Don't expect that Violet. Don't. Oh my days. Don't expect something that Violet would make. Can I promise it is that? All I can promise is that food is probably healthier than. My last suggestion before you'd knock yourself out. I'll take my chances. I took a bite off the food cautiously. Gah! <coughs> I'm dying! <coughs> the, fuck the fuck am I eating? For a moment, Ali was wide eyed with shock and horror. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That food's, del the food's delicious. Thanks, Ali. I just figured I'd get a little bit of payback. You know. No one would, f no one forced you to jump. She laughed and slapped me on the shoulder, then ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. I found myself smiling and admiring the blue of her, the blue of her eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure, for sure. But promise to not do, not to be too stupid again, okay? I'll, I'll try my best. But people can't help but to do stupid things to impress a pretty girl. I guess impressed is what we will call it. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we were being. Somehow, some way, Ali could. I better sing this fucking gin and juice, but <laughs> somehow, some way, Ali could take the ordinary turn and turn it into an adventure. I was laughing so hard that I could barely feel my any pain. Before I knew it, it was night time. That's, and that's why, as a main protagonist, never try to do some shit that's cool because you end up just almost killing yourself and like, all, all your brain and shit gets corrupted and, but I stumbled back um, to my room and plopped onto my bed. Who'd be coming at this hour? I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Fesho. So I have to bother you you're, uh, this late. It's alright, what's up, cat? Don't mind me, just gonna make myself real comfortable. Let's go over this pose again. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. I really gotta get one of these beds for myself already. I closed the door, then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. Oh, if only my cat remembered what happened last episode. <laughs> so what brings you here tonight? Oh, I can't, can't stop thinking about me. You wish. Unfortunately, it's my job to help you survive until the end of the show. And that means checking in with you every night to see how you're doing. And making sure you're doing your best on ratings. That's nice to you, Cat. Thanks. I, find, I, mean, I read that weird, but it's fun. Bill, well, to be honest, I don't have a choice. Finding a new person to take your place would be recruiting a nightmare. Back to what I'm um, here for. Your date today with Ali was was a ratings knockout. You and Daddy were the fan favorite pair. I gotta say, she knows how to make exciting TV. 
Hmm, she's got potential for her own show. Now that I think about it. You were saying? Ah, sorry, I'm getting distracted. The whole world knows that um, Ali is your favourite soulmate. Oh, sorry, your first soulmate candidate. And they're hungry for more content. That said, we need a little more drama in the mix now. Tomorrow, I want you to find who your second soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date instead. Ooh, okay, interesting. It's just like the first time. Well, I'm going to see what the other girls are about, bro. But inside, we don't know who, who my heart goes to. We know, we know that already. I would have expected you to want to spend more time with Ali tomorrow, but I guess you understand your situation. Uh, without those ratings getting higher and higher every day, the acts are showing your life is with it. I guess that makes sense in some warped way. Oh, wrong, wrong voice. I'm impressed that I'm impressed at how you were, how well you took that. I'd almost think it wasn't your first time on a life or death killing dating show. Yeah, no, it just went from my brain, yeah, that it's not the first time but at this point. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you. It's getting late and we both got big days tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Night for sure. Good. She was gone before I had a chance to finish. Get the time to call it a night. Uh, what, what dream are we going to have this time? The sound of waves. Hey. I can hear I can hear her call out to me within a dream. It's you. Here we go again. I love you, Fisher. I always will. And I always will love you too. My mouth moves on its own. Even if there's so many other women in this show, they they can never be you. I held her tight and kissed her. You promise? I promise. Promises are unbreakable, you know. That's what you told me. I meant every word I said. She smiled at me. You better have. Your face is becoming clearer to me with every day that goes by. I know you're here with me, but which one are you? Oh, okay. My question is, is it actually one of who whatever ending you go for is it's gotta be one of the one of them, right? That's what I'm thinking, bro. Oh my gosh, I heard what happened yesterday. Are you okay? No worries, I'm good. Thanks, Yubi. I'm so relieved. Uh should you not be resting after yesterday? Nah, no need. I've already got a few scrapes and bruises. I'm surprised both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. Believe me, me too. Wait, what? I mean, <coughs> no worries Scarlet, I've been rollerblading for longer than most people I ever have. Technically, that's probably true, but... You should teach us how to, how to rollerblade, Ali. It seems like it'll be fun. Uh, you sure, Terra? I sh I like that. Wait, I feel like that might not be a good idea. What's the worst that can happen? I like your attitude, girl. Come on, let's get let's hit the boat. Ali grabbed Terra's hand and pulled her away. Sometime later. Hey, Terra, how was skating? There's no words. Huh? I think Ali broke Terror. Scarlet waved her hand frantically in front of Terror's face as if to check if anyone was still in there. Terror, you, st you in there? Hey Terror, the internet's back! I guess nobody's home. Uh, is there a medic in on this island? Luckily Terror was fine. After, the, um, after that was resolved, we spend the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for um, Terror. She still doesn't remember a thing about what happened. What did you see to her? I guess we'll never know. Damn, Connie was right. I guess we'll never know. There you are, Fresho. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who your second soulmate candidate is. 
and that plane is so loud outside my house dog what the fuck anyway cat moved in closer to whisper not like you really have a choice though so without further ado fresh up who's the unlucky girl i'd like to spend time with uh, violet yeah we're gonna make this a little longer since i missed um last time all right we'll make it happen give us a minute to set up the scene then go find her all right sweet i had just gone outside the mansion to find violet when a white limousine drove up and drove <clears throat> Drove up and stopped in front of me. Hey, brother one, yeah, long time no see. One stepped out of the driver's seat and walked towards me. Fair show, good day. Please enter. What's with the formal talk? Please just get in the car, Fair show. You already heard what she did to me, to my bro. He opened the passenger door and unsheared, unheard. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I shrugged and went inside. What's the worst that could happen on a death game danger? We sat in silence as one drove me what I looked like some sort of fancy restaurant then it escorted me inside. Wait a minute, is this the same... That's the aquarium that we went to. Bonjour, Shooter. I trust my new butler brought you here safely. Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? I thought I would give you a chance to have some alone time with the star of the show is all. I am told this is what happened this is what happened to you oh my freaking word. I am told this is what hap this is what people do when they are caught in. Have you never been on a date before? Of course I have. And I read all the manuals on the subject. I'll have you know. I've studied every book on this on the lost the new Asian maid series and know them all by heart. Impressed, I'm sure. I'm impressed. Oh, it was nothing. Pardon my interruption. I bought you I bought your food. Please be seated, honoured guests. Violet and I sat uh, at a table in the centre of the palace, and one placed each dish onto the tail one by one. He seemed to linger over the meatballs as if as he brought them over. Well, why is he lingering over the meatballs though? Thank you, one. Please, don't hold yourself back. Don't think, don't think I will. This food looks incredible. And people worth more than my life. And probably worth more than my life. You're right. You're right on both counts, for sure. I'm a, I'm a, I'm ecstatic you like the, I saw, Fuck you, I planned it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. What do you mean? Anyway, tell me about more about yourself, Fish. Oh, there's not too much to say. Amnesia is a hell of a drug. You do not remember your past? Yeah, bummer, right? Then rest assured, I will find the find the scientists in all of the land to help you recover your memory when this is over. That that would be great. Thanks, Violet. Yeah, I'm actually gonna give Violet like a kind of smooth kind of voice because she looks like she that's how she talk. Think nothing of it. It's the duty of those with the more to give back, no? Oh shit, okay, I thought I skipped something. Though have you ever thought perchance that this is actually a blessing in disguise? What do you mean? Many of us would be happier not knowing what dragged us down. That may be true, but still, I need to know. You sound like you sound just like the reference examples in the Wormots manuals. Consider me impressed. <laughs> you know, those manuals are just regular old fiction novels, right? <laughs> You're quite funny, Fresho. An admirable trait you have. I like that. Anyway, you haven't told me about yourself, Violet. Who are you? Uh, what do you do for fun? I'd like to know. Being this of the va Valentine's does have does leave much time for fun. I'm afraid. I was, I got so thrown up by that word. I didn't know what it was. Even on this show, I spent most of my waking hours managing the Valentine's restaurant businesses. But I suppose I have a spell of time I enjoy. 
baking. I do. I don't get it. Why are you embarrassed by liking baking? Everyone has a hobby. Baking is something of a servant hobby, according to my parents. When they found out I was enjoying that, well, they made they made sure to stop me from ever doing it again, with all the restaurant work. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? I do know what, but what do you mean? Who cares about what your parents think? Here, on this island, a million miles out, they can't stop you. How about we find some time together to bake for uh, for the last bake up for the last time? Cold. That's okay. That's a cold line. She laughed like a child. That would be. That would be wonderful, Fesha. I'll make some time on the my calendar for you. We spend the next few hours enjoying the finest meals um, that money could buy. Each course was better than the last, just like each um, chapter of the last the new Asian maid, according to Violet. Something tells me that the same applied for every moment I'll share together with Violet. But whether when I do shut um Violet's voice, I sound like fucking Nagi <laughs> I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey the fish, you got a minute. Let me just make sure Ali or Violet see me wait. Yeah, let me just make sure Ali or Violet see me come in here. Find some flames. Sorry, what? Cat looked around, smiled, then went into my room. Hey, yo, I follow suit. First, the good news. Thanks to my plan, we've gotten enough rains to avoid early cannon. People loved it when you and Ellie were, were the main ship, but loved it even more after Violet kicked off this com competition. I don't know why. I'm glad to hear. <clears throat> I mean, I'm glad to hear. I got. I get to live another day. I feel like I've read this before. This is. I'm get. I'm feeling some major deja vu right now. What the fuck? For now, at least. But that can change on a dime. So keep it up. Also, I'm curious. How are you feeling about Ali and Violet? Between those two, who do you have as a favorite? I don't freaking know, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna say Violet because she's got a certain style to her, you know what I'm saying? Like a certain sophistication to her, if that makes sense. I kinda I kinda dig it. But I don't know where who my heart really belongs to. Though I've I've known her for less than for less time, I think I like Violet more right now. I don't know as much as I'd like wait, I don't know as much as I like about Violet just yet, but I know more than anything that I just want to keep learning about her more. Really? Well, can't say I'm surprised. Let's see where things go with Violet. You'll be hanging out with her again soon enough. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows, you might just be f the first one to make it out of here. Night, Fesho. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing my um, the door behind her. Get it time to turn the, the light, turn in for the night. Sometimes the most precious moments are the most mundane. It's just the two of us spending the evening together in the games room. I'm reading a book and at the same time watching her rage against an opponent in the fighting game. This is terrible you're talking about. It's time for her to watch her, wait, it's fun to watch her savor at each victory or explode with profanity when she loses. Life is good. <laughs> Fuck sakes, man. No, no, okay, no. The way I fucking read life is good. <laughs> it's like that one fucking meme. It's times like these. It's times like these where you wish life could always be this simple. Sometimes in those moments, people wish for the most, the more excitement, for fame, for fortune, for anything but the ordinary. But all you want is the ordinary with you. Fuck you! I love this room so much. That's terror what he's talking about. Cause who else does that shit and plays games, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Then you set the meat around Yo! Okay, I'm I'm, I'm choking, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Then you set the meat around 300 degrees for 40 minutes. 
Mm, okay, got it. You know damn well Tab is not listening, bro. Like, Tab refused to scribble down notes. Oh wait, no, she might be. She's 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 on. Okay, she's taking notes. Wait a minute. Can I just cook it for six hundred degrees for twenty minutes? That's not quite how it, this works, I'm afraid. But the math checks out. What's going on? Oh, good morning, Fresh O. How do you, how do you do? I'm teaching Terra the proper way to prepare a pot roast. So far, I'd say it's going pretty well. I mean, so far, I'm sure it's going pretty well. Terra would be the one to prepare lunch today instead of me. Terra turned out of the dials on the stove as... Wait. <clears throat> Terra turned one of the dials on the stove as far as it would go on this right. She put that shit to max. And the student has surpassed the master. On second thought, perhaps I prepare an, an alternative course. One moment, please. Oh yeah, little faith. Oh yeah, little faith. Time for the moment of truth. Lunch is served. Whole squad's here. Terra was nervously collapsed. Cla yeah, clasping her hands with her arm tight. I'm surprised. And it all went to f smiles. It's delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Because all of them are saying it. I did it. Oh my gosh. Terra did a little chance, a little dance of in um, celebration and gave Violet a high five. Hey, Terra can cook then? Shit, man. Should I become a good vlogger? I'm a cooking servant. This talent shouldn't be wasted. Hey Violet, what is it Fisher? Is this what you cooked or is it that what Terra cooked? Violet smiled and winked at me. I don't know what you're talking about. She sipped on her soup con- I don't know what I said. What did I even say? Oh, contently. I couldn't help but smile back at her. Damn, this, this was the best meal I ever had. Okay, never mind. It was Violet who cooked it. Granted, my memory only goes back about three days, but still, it counts for something. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna end it there, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, hit the sub button. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Spent the day with um Violet and um Ali, and yo, in his dreams, it's it's coming more clear to me that this mystery girl it happens to be Terra. So maybe it's not some mystery girl after all. It's just one of these a lot, but it's just whatever ending or path are you go on, it's one of them. I'm definitely hop back in this game more often because every time I don't, my reading just becomes like booty cheeks. So yeah, peace out everyone. Have a good day. Fresh out out of here.